Well, abortion rights advocates already are planning protests in downtown Chicago. Let's get right to CBS 2's Marissa Parra live in Federal Plaza. Marissa, are you seeing anyone or talking to anyone at this hour? So you can probably see behind me just a ways there. So far, no one in Federal Plaza at the moment, but we do know it's going to be busy later on today. At one o'clock, we're going to be seeing from protesters who are actually celebrating the decision. And then hours later, we're going to be hearing from protesters who are protesting against the decision. And those are just going to be hours apart. We already know how contentious this has been, obviously shaping up to be a very busy day. Joining us right now is Deputy director for the Chicago Abortion Fund. This is Katsia Sharif joining us. A lot of questions for you, but when we talk about how Illinois shapes into this decision that was just announced today, obviously this affects every state across the country very differently. Illinois does have abortion rights in place that are state law, but there's a lot of differences with the states that surround us. How does it impact what you guys are doing and what you plan on doing going forward? Good question. I mean, we have been preparing for this moment, figuring out how we're going to support the expected 20 to 30,000 people that are going to travel into Illinois because of the fall of Roe v. Wade. And in the states surrounding us, um, there are, like you said, um, le much less protections for people getting abortion and also people providing abortion. So um, we did just celebrate the repeal of parental notification of abortion so young people in our state can access care without parental involvement, but there's still much more to do to make sure and ensure that access in our state is protected and expanded, especially for those folks that are going to need to come to Illinois for care. And this isn't something new that we've reported, but we have reported previously that even with what we saw in Texas, even that has had an impact on what we were seeing in Illinois. Yes, for sure. In the first quarter of this year, over um, an average of 80% of our callers were coming from out of the state of Illinois. So either being seen in their home state or traveling to Illinois for care. So we're already seeing people that are needing to leave their homes, leave their zip codes to get care. And we've been, like I said, scaling up, um, building up our team and also building and strengthening our partnerships with sibling funds and the national network of abortion funds to make sure people have the info and access they need. Last question for you. When we talk about reaction, um, how does what we've seen before in states like Texas and the leak in that Politico article factor into your reaction this morning? Clearly, you've had this rally planned for a while, much earlier than this morning. So were you surprised? Was there an element of shock at all? I think there wasn't surprise in terms of the decision. I think we, I was initially surprised they added the day um, today to make the decision today, but we have been preparing for this moment and especially since SB8 and the leak, we knew this was coming and that's part of why we've been doing all of this work to shore up our infrastructure and make sure people have the access they deserve and need. Katsia Sharif from the Chicago Abortion Fund, thank you so much for joining us. As we mentioned, she is part of the group that will be here at 5.30. They will be protesting the decision, but hours beforehand at 1 o'clock, there will be folks who are pro-life that will be celebrating the decision. Obviously, we will be bringing you all of that coverage live on air and online. Reporting live from Federal Plaza, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.